want to embark on the message on uh, 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 expecting to see God. Expecting to see God. Last time we covered several aspects. Now we are going to part four. And it's going to take you, as we cover all this, we are pushing you deeper into that ability, to that level where you can see. When we talk about seeing God, it is a level whereby the, the characteristics of God, the attributes of God, the behavior of God is evident allowed. Let me give you an example. If you go to Red Sea, when, it, when Israel were closing, Moses said, uh, you will see the salvation of God. Seeing they saw the water separate. They saw God destroy their enemies. We are talking about seeing God. God is seen in manifestation. God is seen in that ability of discerning his presence. And that's what we are going, we are going through. We are, we are happy that we are together with you in our YouTube, Apostolic Faith uh, Church Kenya, Apostolic Faith Church Bahati, and also Bishop Peter Katimo. You get all this information there. And God will powerfully bless you. Let's continue now. For you to, to see God and you expect God to appear, you need to wait. Uh, you need to identify your Rema word. Rema word is the word specifically released by God that determines your life. For instance, there's somebody in the book of Luke who had a Rema word specifically meant for his life. That was Simeon. If you go to your Bible and look at, uh, 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 that is chapter 2 of Luke, we want to see this incident where this man uh, uh, was able to see Jesus. Let's see Luke chapter 2, verse 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it, it had been revealed to him. This was a specific message from the Holy Spirit that determined his life. In other, words, in other words, his life is not to be interfered with by any other program. The Rema word has programmed, determined his life and his destiny. The Bible says it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord Christ. Hear this. This is not a message for John, for Peter for Mary. It is a specific word for Simeon. It determines his life. One, he will not see death. So even if other people die, maybe from accident, from infection, from any, any form of attack, this word would guard this man's life. Ages. You see, the Bible says, God watches over his word to perform it. It is now released on Simeon. You will not see death until you see with your own eyes. You be, until before you had seen the Lord's Christ, the Lord's Messiah, the Anointed One. So he stayed. The, he stayed on. He he could not die at his teenage. He could not die at the age of 60. He could not die at the age of 50. This man was very old. But the issue of becoming old did not determine his, his, his life. It was determined by word that emanated from the Holy Spirit 
when he said, you will not see death. And I want to say to you, one of the things that dominates, that rules your life, is what God said about you. God can speak about a season and situation, but in most instances, God would like to give Bishop Gatimo and to give you a program determined by a specific word. When God says, you will become this way. And God says, he has to come. You will do this. And you have remained righteous. And it has not happened. You still know death has no power of you because you bear Remawad. Remawad produces your vision. Remawad becomes the source of your encouragement. Remawad is important. Hear this, friends. It's important for any man who wants to see God, first of all, <coughs> to wait for you, to wait for your Rema word that comes from the Holy Spirit. Now, it's important. This man, uh, he was staying in the temple, in, in, in God's presence, waiting for the day when his eyes will see the Messiah. And the Bible says something as you go through this scripture. And it has been revealed to him on uh, uh, verse 27. So he came by the Spirit in the temple. And when the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to do for him according to the customs of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart. But in peace, according to your word. Why? Because my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared before the face of the the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. And now he said, Now I Lord, you can now let your servant go. He knew, now because my eyes have seen the Messiah, and the Rema word that determined his destiny, his life, his seasons, said you will not see death. And now he has seen the Messiah, and the man is very old. Said, now, Lord, let me depart in peace. I pray in the name of Jesus, that every person in the church of Christ, I say to you by God's grace, the spirit of God is upon you. And one thing you want to do is to release word that specifically, that is specific for you, that determines your seasons and your life, it will be powerful. Remember Joseph, God had said, if you go to uh, Genesis chapter 37, all through you see uh, what God said about Joseph is very clear. The Bible says something here. Uh -huh. And when the brothers saw their father loved him, that is, we are talking about Joseph. Genesis chapter 37, verse 5. Now Joseph had a dream. Which dream? The dream that released his remoward. Now Joseph had a dream, and he told it to his brothers, and they hated him even more. I want you to hear this. The Bible says he shared a dream from God with his brothers. Real blood brothers. The same father. And when he did that, they hated him even more. So he said to them, please, hear this dream which I have dreamed. There, were, there we were biding sheaves in the field and then behold, my sheaf arose and also stood upright. And indeed, your sheaves stood all around and bowed down to my sheaf. That's powerful. And the brother said to him, Shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his word. Sometime your word, what God says about you, threatens the standard and expectations of people, even close family people or close associates. 
the Bible says he dreamt still another one, verse 9. And told it to his brother, said, look, I have dreamt another dream. And this time, the sun, moon, and 11 stars bore down to me. Sun, moon means his dad and his mom. 11 stars, his brothers. And so he told us, and then he told, to, he told it to his father. And his father said, brother, and they rebuked him and said, what is the dream that you have dreamt? Shall you shall your mother and I and your brothers indeed come bow down to, to the earth before you? And his brothers envied him, but the father kept the matter in his mind. His brother went whatever, and they had an option. They said, We have to kill him. You know all this option. And they said, This man should be killed now because of the dream. And there were options. Until they got the last option where they said, you know, Reuben, that is one of the brothers who had them plan how to kill him. Verse 22, and Reuben said to them, shed not blood, but cast him into the pit which is in the wilderness and do not lay hand on him. That's, that's an option now. Throw him in the pit. Don't pour his blood. Let him die without pouring the blood. And um, it proceeded on proceeded on and you know uh-huh verse 26 judah said to his brothers what profit is there if we kill our brother and consume his blood come let us sell him let us let us sell him to Israelites, and let not our heart be upon him and that's how he ended up uh in egypt in the hands of potiphar now Listen, friends, it, you know, look at the situation. The situation that Joseph was undergoing was threatening. People were ready to kill him. But I want to assure you, the Rema word said, one day this man will be elevated and his brothers and, and parents will bow to him. No one will destroy the pathway of this dream. I speak to you, if you want to see God, first of all, before you, you, you cleave for any other thing and all other things in God, I pray that my God will put in you his Rebbe word, that special word that determines your season and your standard. Look at this issue. Joseph had Rebbe word. It determined his destiny and his standard. Look at this issue. You know, when he was sold to Potiphar, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 9, Joseph, now Joseph had taken, was taken down to Egypt. And Potiphar, the, an officer of Pharaoh, captain, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, blood bought him from Ishmaelites, who had taken him down there. The Lord was with Joseph. The Rema word is following Joseph to make sure the standard of Rema word are sustained and they are implemented. The Lord was with Joseph. You know why? Joseph had a Rema word and he also went with the owner. The owner. We always say, do not only move ahead with your dream. Move ahead also with the dream giver. Joseph moved ahead with the dream giver. The dream giver is the performer of the dream. He watches over his word to perform it. When he was put into um, slavery, of course, but as a worker with no rights in the, in, the, in, the, in the estate, in the things of Potiphar, something happened. The Lord was with him. Number two, Potiphar, even without knowing Jehovah, observe something unique about the God of Joseph. Why? The Lord was with him and his master identified that Joseph had God, unique God over him because whatever he laid head on prospered until Potiphar was forced to put everything under Joseph as executive leader. Why? Anything that could have been left away or 
away from the hands of Joseph remained not remain, could not prosper. You know, I, I, it's interesting when we pray for you people and God blesses your hand, God blesses you with a unique a REM award that determines your standard. You are employed maybe in a company. They want to make you a slave. But now the REM award is following you. It dictates how things should be done. Although they don't know it, they will end up putting you into the position determined by the REM award. Joseph became a leader in Potiphar's house. Executive officer. Remember, when Joseph was, anytime God gives you a REM award, you are also tried and tempted because of that word. You need to overcome the test and temptation for your Rema word. If you want to see God. If you want to see God, any word God spoke about you that determines your life will very soon be put into trial and temptation. In this manner, you are tried. Trial is test to promote you. But temptation is meant to diminish you, uh, to finish you. And, and you remember what happened now? Potiphar's wife wanted to, to lie down, have sex, fornicate, to commit adultery with this man. Because righteous people who keep, who have the Rema word, gradually they become handsome or beautiful. Because you are overshadowed by the circumstances of the Rema word. And that's why this woman admired Joseph. But Joseph said to her, even if we are in one room, totally concealed, confined with you and you are naked. I cannot do such an evil before God. I, he is saying this. I have a dream and even when I'm in the most dark, concealed rooms, I still have the dream and the dream giver. And that's why Joseph said, I can't do such an evil in the eyes of God. He was put in prison. When, when he, in prison, something happened. The leader of prison had to resign and tell Joseph now become the commissioner. Remember when he went before Pharaoh. Pharaoh said now take over, be the prime minister. You see the level word follows to make sure two things happen. Your destiny is so clear and the life you live always is in the standard of the Rema word that God spoke about you. I say if you want to see God, let God put in your heart and I say it's possible. One, the Holy Ghost is in you. The Holy Spirit lives in you. And the Holy Spirit who has a package, has Rema word for you, and he is in you. Why don't you pray? You to the Holy Spirit. Listen to him as he speaks from inside. Don't wait from outside. Wait from inside. As you worship, speaking tongues, you to the Holy Spirit, and you confirm your Rema word. That one, you determine your life. They plan death, it can't get you. Because the Rema word says, you live up to this moment and fulfill this vision. I said to you, men and women have no power over you. As long as you receive that word that determines your destiny, standard of your life, and righteousness in you. Just as it worked in Simeon and it worked in Joseph. If you want to see God, Rema word, the word for your life and your season. Father, bless the person who is watching with the breakthrough to hear the Holy Ghost, release specific word for him, for her, that will be so powerful to determine the standard of life, to determine the status of life and destiny in the person who is watching. I say it will be possible. Lord, perform your word. Release it on this person. In Christ we pray.